Hello and welcome to myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the arithmetic 16 question 22 which is long multiplication. Okay so if we look at the first question, question 22a, and we use the squares over here to write our numbers into the correct positions. So we have 2,351 multiplied by 43. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply by the units column. So that's 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1 into the hundreds column. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus the 1 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus the 1 is 7. So that's our units column completed. Next, we look at the tens column. And for this, we place a magic zero in the units column, which makes everything 10 times larger, because actually this is a 40, not just a four. Okay, so let's have a little look. So four times one is four, there's our 40. Four times five is 20, carry that two over. Four times three is 12, plus the two is 14. Four times two is eight, plus the one is nine. And then we add the two rows together. So three units and zero units, three units, five tens and four tens and nine tens, zero, zero hundreds and zero hundreds. Well, that's nothing, zero hundreds altogether. We have 7,000 and 4,000, which is 11,000. So we carry over into the 10,000s column and we have nine, 90,000 plus the 10,000, which is 100,000. So we have a final answer of 101,093. And next is question 22b. So if I rewrite the question, 4,668, I'm going to multiply that by 39. So first of all, we're going to multiply the units column. So that's 9 times 8, which is 72. Then 9 times 6, which is 54, plus the 7, which is 61. 9 times 6 is 54, plus the 6 is 60. 9 times 4 is 36, plus the 6 is 42. Then we're going to multiply by the tens column. So remember that magic zero. So it's 3 times 8, which is 24. Carry it into the hundreds column. 3 times 6, which is 18, plus the 2 is 20. 3 times 6, which is 18, plus the 2 is 20. And 3 times 4, which is 12, plus the 2, is 14. Then we add the two rows together. So we have 2 units and 0 units is 2. 1 ten and 4 tens are 5 tens. 0 hundreds again, all together. We've got 2,000 and 0 thousands, that's 2,000. 40,000 and 40,000, which is 80,000, and then the single 100,000 to give a final answer of 182,052. And next is question 22C. So that's 5,058 into the squares times 62. Okay, so again, we're going to look at this units column to begin with. Don't forget my line, of course. We're going to look at the units, so that's 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 5 is 10, plus the 1 is 11. 2 times 0 is 0. Don't make the common mistake of thinking it's 2. 2 times 0 is 0, so we just place the 1 that we carried over. 2 times 5 is 10. That's the units complete. Then we're going to look at the tens column, so don't forget that magic 0. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 4 is 34. 6 times 0, again, is 0, so we place the 3 straight in. And 6 times 5 is 30. And then we add the two rows together. So 6 units and 0 units is 6. 1 ten and 8 tens, 9 tens. We have the 100 plus the 400, which is 500. Zero thousands and three thousand is three thousand. We have the single ten thousand by itself and three hundred thousand. So we have a final answer of three hundred and thirteen thousand five hundred and ninety six. 
And the fourth and final question for this tutorial is question 22D. So it's 7,421 and we're multiplying that by 27. So first of all, we're going to multiply by the units column. So seven times one is seven. Seven times two is 14. Carry that one over into the hundreds. Seven times four is 28 plus the one is 29. 7 times 7 is 49, plus the 2 is 51. So that's the units complete. Then we're going to multiply by the tens column. So again, that magic zero must go in, must remember it. Then 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 7 is 14. And then we add together the 2 rows, so 7 units and 0 units, 7 units, 4 tens and 2 tens, 6 tens, 9 hundreds plus 4 hundreds, 13 hundreds, so the 1,000 carries over. We have 1,000, 8,000, and the carried over 1,000, so that's 10,000, so we carry into the 10,000s. We have 50,000, 40,000, and 10,000, that's 100,000, and then the 100,000 plus the carried over 100,000 gives us 200,000. For a final answer of 200,367. That, that's it for today. Thank you very much for, for watching and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.